Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard, episode number 246. What do we have today? Well, we have got some, some probably some disappointing uh, Platinum Pack Luck, probably some disappointing King of the Ring Awards. Well, it is already disappointing, so yeah, you know, caught a bump, fell asleep. Um, it ended, uh, yeah, no, the quarterfinals I think started around 7.30 a.m. my time. And considering I went to sleep around 5.30 a.m., there was no way in hell I was making it up for that. So, um, it's a bit of a shame, but another another, another King of the Ring waste, I suppose. And we even won the first game of it. Damn. I probably, of course, I would have, if, if I would have been uh, awake to charge, I would, wow. Don't tell me that Ireland charged himself, all right. All right, all right then, well, he went, uh, who is it, Matt, yeah, he went ahead to get semi-bumped anyways. And Chrysalid, Chrysalid won it. So anyway, let's go and claim it, guys, it's obviously just one WrestleMania, we don't really care unless it's catalogue. You know, you know, you know, you know the catalogues we're looking for, Miz, Naomi, Charlotte, Becky Lynch, or, um, I don't know. Naomi, Naomi, Charlotte, Becky Lynch, or Miz, and I think there's one other female. But anyway, let's go ahead and claim it. Hey, not the female we needed. Thank you, Supercard. Thank you for giving me a female, but not it. <laughs> for it not to be anything I needed. And uh, now, I suppose it's background time. So, uh, what are we looking for? <laughs> We're looking for a SummerSlam 17, obviously, and obviously a high tier one, or a SummerSlam 17 I just haven't gotten, or again, the same old, same old, just catalogue if it's WrestleMania cards. So, let's go ahead and claim these rewards. First plan and pack in about five, six days, guys. So, yeah, give me something good, please. No, okay, so no SummerSlam 17, but we do get the battle points first. We're getting two WrestleManias and an ultimate. Just give me some catalogue. No, he's a goddamn Cedric Alexander. Uh, Carl Anderson, and again, a female. Not a female we needed. Brilliant. Getting, getting mugged off, guys. Getting completely mugged off. Who's this? Puh! Mate. It's called, uh, it's called getting rejected. Sorry about that, if you're watching. Sorry for rejecting you in the video. It might, might be a bit, uh... Might be a bit mean. But anyway, uh, so what's happened, guys? A bit of information, uh, on the team. So... Bacon, the absolute twat, has been kicked, or I think he left, he might have left himself actually, because I didn't kick him, so either either one of the general days, generals did, or he left, but just a quick tip for anyone guys watching this, anyone who's owner of a team, or, or a rec someone who recruits for a team, do not get Bacon plays, alright, he... One, he doesn't really play, and two guys, the, the things he said in team chat are just horrendous. I've put I put one on Twitter, and I know a lot of other people did, and thank you for the support on that. But uh, Bacon Plays is someone you do not want in your teams, someone you do not even want to be remotely friends with, because uh, cause he's yeah he's just basically toxic, guys. Um, if you if you do check out my Twitter, you'll see the kind of things he said to me and said to the whole team. So that's why he got kicked, um, and because he's just inactive and a freeloader. And, uh, you know, he thinks that because he's got seen enough edition cards that he's better than everyone else. So if you think that, well, you're an idiot. Um, so we did get Matt, Matt KR. So welcome into the team, Matt. Um, new to the team, hopefully uh, hopefully he does well. I have full confidence he will, though. Seems like an awesome lad. So we are currently on nine members before, before, before... You guys all go type in the chat, can I please join your team as you've got nine members? Listen to the end, because we already do have someone who's about to join. He will be joining in the next two or three hours, so um, it will be Jordan, so if any of you guys know Jordan, but that and that's who will be joining our team, which we will be full after that, guys. So no point in asking me to join the team, very sorry that... Uh, yeah, very sorry that, of course, I won't be letting anyone in the team. That's just how it is, guys. And that's pretty much all I've got, guys. No, money in the bank. You guys will see that I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty well because I'm the one actually doing it. I'm grinding, uh, which is which doesn't happen, does it? But I have been the last three, four days, been, uh, been getting a couple thousand contracts, a thousand a day, maybe two thousand a day. But I'm actually quite happy with the progress I've made considering we've got over two weeks left in this cycle of money in the bank. I'm extremely confident that I'll make it to at least 50,000 contracts 
by that time I will decide whether or not it is worth getting an Italia because if you guys haven't haven't found out or haven't seen this for yourselves and we will go ahead and go through it we will go ahead and go through it in today's video because I think it's definitely important and that is what Supercard tweeted out on Twitter about season 4 so let's quickly bring it up for you guys um, so yesterday they tweeted out an image of Sasha Banks, SummerSlam 17, walking down to the ring with a nice Elimination Chamber background. And today, what they have done is they've introduced the unified uh, PvP leagues and Elimination Chamber game mode. So what it's basically going to be for everyone wondering, I will quickly talk about it and then I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. But it is actually, and I'm really happy they're doing this, instead of having Raw Rumble, Elimination Chamber and war formerly known as ranked mode but from now on i'm going to call it war because that's actually what it's going to be called war war um not uh, ranked mode so it's going to be those three game modes and basically those three game modes are going to go on a cycle so you'll be able to you won't be able to play three basically at the same time so you'll go you'll have royal rumble then you'll maybe have elimination chamber then you'll have war and it will cycle through those just like it does with with solo events so you won't have you won't you know you won't have to compete in all three game modes and to try and be best in all three of them it will be a cycle with leagues which i love that idea so let's go ahead and bring it up on the screen for you guys i just need to click on the link myself and uh, and give you guys a screen capture that's what we're going to go ahead and do make it nice and big there we go, and I'll make it so it doesn't hide my face cam, but that might be a bit tricky. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's, do we move? Yeah, we'll move, I'll move my webcam, move it down there. No, no, not that. It's being silly, isn't it? Because now you guys can't even see me. Oh dear, oh dear, when everything, when everything goes wrong, guys. When everything goes wrong, alright, there we go. But, no, we're still not right at the top. No, I need to be at the top. God damn. There we go. Put myself back where I belong in this little part here. But now I should be on top. Good. I am. <laughs> so sorry, you guys, after, you know, that I, uh, I'm over what you guys are about to see. But obviously, it should be fine. Yes, because it's in the middle. Perfect. Okay, so here we go, guys. Season 4 preview. Unified PvP leagues and Elimination Chamber. You can see it all right there. So as I said, guys, it's going to be a cycle between the three modes, between Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber, and War, as you can see right there. Really happy. I mean, Triple H featured for the Royal Rumble one, Alexa Bliss featured for the Elimination Chamber one, and I'm going to quickly say something. The Elimination Chamber game mode, and that's why we started talking about this. The new game mode that will be introduced in Season 4, guys, it's going to be an only female game mode. So you're going to need to have 10 good females because you do it, it it's 10 females guys, okay? Elimination Chamber, it, you need 10 females. So your best 10 female cards and I've looked at my 10 best female cards. And uh, the last stages aren't very good because I never in in my life needed more than 10 good females. So obviously, you know, I always get rid of the ones I don't need and keep, you know, four or five good ones for, you know, the, the, the game mode where you need the most females right now is Road to Glory with four. Okay, four. Now it's ten. Ten female cards. Crazy. Um, so, you know, that's why I'm thinking maybe if I have enough contracts... I might cash in on that Natalia because it might be really worth it. So, Season 4 preview. Let's have a quick look, guys. So, you can it, it will just say that with the launch of Season 4, weekly leagues will appear from uh, from the three game modes War, formerly known as Ranked Mode, Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber during the week-long cycle. Only one other game modes will be active, okay? So, only one of them will be playable. And players will compete for spots in the PvP League leaderboards. League consists of 30 players who are battling their way through different tiers bronze silver gold and platinum we're going to be getting that platinum baby i guarantee you'll be getting platinum baby and at the end of each league the top five players will move up the upper tier while the bottom five will move down a tier uh the new week will always start on a monday oh and don't worry global leaderboards and rewards are still here too good so there, there we go there it shows you what happens guys you can see the rewards 1000 credits for people who like, they don't even, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, they're going to be, basically, they might be giving out some more credits, I think, or, or maybe not. I don't know how they're going to do it. No, that's on global right now, so that doesn't really matter. But you can see behind it, if you look behind it, that's a cool little graphic right there with um, with everything featured 
the rewards, the leader rewards, and the uh, the edit, the, the leaderboards. And if we move down, guys, look at this: the brand new elimination chamber game mode. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. You can see the momentum slots. That's something that's going to be new in season four. Momentum, and obviously uh, that will be giving you some, uh, some, you know, some. What, what's the word I'm looking? You know, help you in events. Basically, momentum will give you some uh, a head start. That's the word I was looking for. So you can see there, uh, free bout. That's in that's a long time. So bouts will be, bouts is going to be annoying. Hopefully the ad glitch still works. <laughs> And, uh, and hopefully everything, if the, ad, if the ad glitch works, that'll be great. And you can see here, of course, the league, it tells you how long it's going to end. You have a, a chat, I'm guessing, with your whole league, which is awesome. Um, it tells you your rank, how many points you're on, and obviously this brand new design for the Elimination Chamber, which looks really, really cool. So as well, you can see down here, we've got a momentum level total points needed and it's basically it gives you pack pack reward a league pack league pack a big league pack a big league pack and and a giant league pack so that's going to be interesting to see what we're going to be getting in those packs and of course they do talk about the cp store right here which uh, for every win you're going to get some cp and what you can do with that cp you can buy packs you can buy card backs and you can buy you can buy cards packs and card backs Cards, packs, and card backs. Oh, that's cool. So you can buy not only packs, but actually cards. That's awesome. So that, that's pretty much it, guys, that I want to show you. Um, I just think it's awesome that, that they're actually doing that. I mean, of course, a reset I still think would have been awesome, plus all of these things with a reset would have been cool. But if they're not doing a reset, I'm, I've, I've come to grips with that. I've come to terms with it. Um, nothing I can do about it now. Just I'm just actually happy that they're doing some pretty cool things, guys. They, I honestly believe that what they've done so far absolutely awesome and um, you know top marks to you supercard for once <laughs> so let's let's take that off the screen because you guys don't need to see that anymore and we will come off the money in the bank so that's why guys for the new elimination chamber game mode i'm not sure if it's worth maybe me getting the natalia or not so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and uh, and before we go i do just want to show um, some amazing custom designs, uh, some cards that if you guys see uh, on the channel um, in, in, in the future, it's just because I love them so much and, uh, and I found them on Twitter. So a big shout out to the person who gave them to me and I really should have his name, but I'm just going to assume that he's not watching this video. But <laughs> sorry for not giving you a shout out because you did give these to me. But if you guys are wondering, I will, I will let you guys know in the comments who it was. So that Kurt Angle card right there. And if we show you guys the other one, it's an Alexa Bliss one. So they just look so cool. Imagine, imagine that featuring as my last pull. Could you, could you imagine that that could be that could be my last pull, guys? That could be. Imagine. I, I mean, Alexa definitely will have a uh, a Titan card. The question is, will Kurt Angle have one? I hope he does. I hope Kurt Angle has one in all three tiers, to be honest. But imagine putting those two cards. They are my two favourite in the WWE right now, of course, with AJ Styles, but they look so cool. I do love the design of Titan. I haven't, I don't think I've showed it to you guys yet on uh, on one of the videos. So that is the new design for Titan. It looks pretty sick. Um, and I am just very, very happy for Season 4 to come out and just really to get everyone back in and just really excited for Supercard. Over the last couple of weeks, uh, the community for Supercard has been suffering a little bit with uh, with some people that I don't really want to mention again because I shouldn't even be mentioning them in these videos because they are just that they, they, yeah they don't deserve they don't deserve to be to be just said in this video so I uh, and it's been a bit it's been a bit of a shame all that's going on but it needs to be it needs to be out there people need to start realizing what's going on and uh, and there are some people who are just complete dickheads so thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know in the comments what you think I should do with my contract. Should I go Fnati? Should I just wait? Uh, even though it might help me in Elimination Chamber, but it might be worth it to wait because there might be something a lot better in the next cycle. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys very soon for another video. And I'm really sorry there won't be a stream today and I know I said there was going to be, so I will definitely make that up for you guys with an insane long stream tomorrow. So take care and peace out guys.